Welcome to the session on SAP Business One, Keyboard Shortcuts. In SAP you can use numerous keys or key combinations to access frequently performed commands or operations. These shortcut keys are equivalents of menu commands. There are general shortcuts that apply to all documents as well as specific shortcuts for certain document types like sales and purchasing documents, payment documents and inventory documents. Let's first look at the general shortcuts. This includes renaming of fields, moving from one field to another and entering dates. You may want to change the name of a field in SAP to better resonate with your users. For example, you may want to change the field name for the customer on a sales order to client. To do this you hold down the control button and double click the field you want to change. This opens up the changing description dialog box where you can see the original description and the option to give it a new description. Enter your new description here. You can also bold or italicize the field for extra emphasis. Once you select update you will see the change on the form. Note that this is a global change and should be done with care. You can authorize only certain users to perform this function for better controls. If you want to restore to the original field name control and double click on the field again and click the restore defaults button. It is recommended only to rename fields so that they make more sense to the users. It is not advised to rename a field to use it for a different purpose than originally intended. Now let's look at date shortcuts. Entering dates is a common practice throughout the system. To enter today's date in a date field you can enter any non-numeric character and tab. For example, T, then tab. If you want to enter the first day of the current month enter 1 and tab out of the field. If you wanted to enter a specific day in the current year but not current month you can enter the day and month and tab out. For example, 1212 will enter the 12th of December of the current year. If you want to enter a date x number of days into the future, you can enter the plus symbol and 30 to enter a date 30 days from today. Similarly, if you want to enter a date in the past you can enter the minus symbol and 30 to enter a date 30 days ago. Now let's focus on the shortcuts specific to sales and purchasing documents. On a document to get to the base document click Ctrl and N to open it up. If you want to see any target document associated with a specific line of the document, select the line and click Ctrl and T. If there are multiple target documents the latest one will be the one to open. To select the first line of a document use Ctrl and H, to select the last line use Ctrl and E. To open the line detail screen use Ctrl and L. There are multiple screens that are launched from the marketing documents, let's explore those further. If you need to review the gross profitability of the document use Ctrl and G. You can verify that your margins are correct. If you need to check the weight and volume calculations use Ctrl and W. If you need to substitute an item and want to see the alternative items, put your cursor on the item code field and click Ctrl and Tab to see the items that can be used to substitute for this item, and their match factor. If you want to see if there is inventory of an item in different warehouses, put your cursor in the Warehouse field and click Ctrl and Tab to open the Warehouse Balance Report and review the inventory levels across the organization. If you need to assign a serial or batch number to the document for a particular item, put your cursor in the quantity field and click Ctrl and Tab to open up the available serial or batch numbers for the item. Assign them if required. If you need to review a payment for the document or apply a new payment, use Ctrl and Y to open the Payment Means window. In the Payment Means window, if the full balance of the document is going to be paid, you can use Ctrl and B in the total field to auto-populate the balance due for the document. This concludes the session on shortcuts in SAP Business One. Thank you for your time.